In this video, I will show you how Tevmo plugin collects energy model and calculates cooling loads for industrial building with open to below room. Let's see how the plugin handles this. We have a model of an industrial building. The architecture is attached as usual as a link. Let's add shared parameters that our plugin needs for calculation. Then we input calculation settings. The model is collected by spaces and basic levels. Basic levels are those on which spaces are placed. In this building, the rooms have different heights and main room is open to below. At the same time, the architectural file does not contain rooms. Therefore we will use the tool for creating spaces in enclosed contours. We can see that the plugin automatically placed the spaces into all enclosed contours. In the section we can verify that space has been added to an intermediate level where the contours of the space is different. Next, we add some parameters necessary for the calculation. Each space has parameters responsible for the calculation. We can enter them directly into each room manually or use Revit schedules. After this we collect an energy model. Then we open the collected model. This is how the collected energy model looks like. We can turn off the visibility of levels or various elements of the model and make sure that the plugin correctly collects our building with rooms of different heights and different levels. We can select any element and check all the information about it. All external surfaces should be yellow and internal ones, green. Then, we open Tevmo plugin calculations in Revit, and now we can see automatically generated user surfaces types. We can click on any of them and all elements of that type will be highlighted on the model. Now we can see roof assembly. Next, we see external wall assembly. At last, we see internal wall assembly. These types helps us be sure of the correctness of the model. We can set any U values for all these types, as well as add new. If we want to add an additional type with different parameters then we just need to add a new row and input all the parameters. Then we select the required elements in the model. Let's click on this group of walls and assign them a new type. We can ensure that the required surfaces are assigned a new type. We see that now the selected walls no longer belong to the walls assembly, but now they belong to the new created type. Now we can move on to the calculations. The plugin can provide three types of reports. Let's look at the report in Excel. The first table shows the calculation results for each floor. The second table contains the calculation results for each zone and space. Next, let's look at the visual report and open the model in new tab. Here we select the report model. We can see our energy model, but now surfaces with heat gains are painted in different shades of red. Color intensity depend on the amount of heat gain passing through the surface. If we click on any surface, we will get access to all the information about the heat gains through that surface. With this report we can easily check the calculation. Finally, let's look at the last report type, the GBXML model. We see that the model exports correct. With this report we can transfer all collected data to HAP, Energy Plus, IES or Solar Computer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.